Hello friends, this is the third and last video of a series on sulfur containing amino acids. So we will begin with the classification of metabolic illnesses linked to sulfur containing amino acids. The first category is faulty reabsorption. This includes cystinuria and Osthaus syndrome. The second condition is cystinosis a lysosomal storage disorder. The third condition is hypermethioninemia. The fourth is homocysteinuria which covers both classical and non-classical. The final condition is cystathioninuria. We will also discuss about the hyperhomocysteinemia and its relation with myocardial infarction. We have already discussed some of these metabolic disorders you can see in cars or links are given in description. In this video I have explained homocysteinuria. First is classical homocysteinuria. Here is the pathway where homocysteine and serine are converted into cysteine and propionyl CoA. Classical homocysteinuria is most common inborn error of metabolism of methionine. Basic defect is deficiency of cystathionine beta synthase enzyme. Homocysteine is not converted to cysteine, so there is cysteine deficiency and more homocysteine is available for methionine synthesis, so there is hypermethioninemia. In clinical feature, baby is normal at birth but failure to thrive and developmental delay. The diagnosis is usually made after 3 years of age when there is a ectopia lentis occurs. You can see the difference between ectopia lentis of Marfan syndrome where the lens subluxate superiorly and temporally. In homocysteinuria, lens subluxate inferiorly and medially. Other feature includes mental retardation, skeletal abnormalities like elongated limbs, pectus excavatum or carinum and genu vulgum. Vascular diseases like atherosclerosis, myocardial infarction and pulmonary embolism. For diagnosis, you will find elevated levels of both methionine and homocysteine in blood. Positive cyanide nitroprusside test which is a screening test for homocysteinuria. DNA mutation analysis can be done. Prenatal diagnosis by enzyme assay of cultured amniotic cells or chorionic villi or by DNA analysis. Treatment includes high dose of vitamin B6 within 24 hours causes the improvement in most patients. Obviously restriction of methionine intake and cysteine supplementation who is non-responsive to vitamin B6. Betaine trimethylglycine lowers the homocysteine by remethylating homocysteine to methionine. Large dose of vitamin C for improvement of endothelial function. Now we'll discuss non-classical homocysteinuria. Defect number one is in methylcobalamin formation. Methylcobalamin is a cofactor for the enzyme methionine synthase. So, homocysteine cannot be remethylated to methionine and homocysteine accumulated and methionine levels decrease. Left finding shows megaloblastic anemia, homocysteinuria and hypomethioninemia. Defect number 2 is deficiency of N5 N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase enzyme which reduces N5N10 methylene tetrahydrofolic acid to N5 methyl tetrahydrofolic acid and its methyl group is needed for remethylation of homocysteine to methionine. Lab findings are hypomethioninemia, homocysteinemia, homocysteinuria but here megaloblastic anemia is absent.
ट्रीटमेंट इंक्लूड्स फॉलिक एसिड विटामिन बी सिक्स बी ट्वेल्व मिथ्योनिन सप्लीमेंटेशन एंड बी टेन विच सीम्स टू हैव मोस्ट बेनिफिशियल इफेक्ट नेक्स्ट इज सिस्टाथायोडिन यूरिया हियर इज द पाथवे द बेसिक डिफेक्ट इज डेफिशियंसी ऑफ सिस्टाथायोनेज एंजाइम क्लिनिकल फीचर्स इंक्लूड मेंटल रिटार्डेशन एनीमिया थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपेनिया एंड एंडोक्रिनोपैथीज माइंड वेल साइनाइड नाइट्रोप्रोसाइड टेस्ट इज नेगेटिव हियर एंड सिस्टाथायोनिन इज प्रेजेंट इन यूरिन ट्रीटमेंट इंक्लूड्स लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ पायरिडोक्सिन Now let's see in brief about cyanide nitroprusside test. Take 5 ml of urine and saturate it with sodium chloride. Then add 4 drops of ammoniacal silver nitrate and potassium cyanide drop by drop till solution becomes clear. Then add 4 drops of freshly prepared sodium nitroprusside. a positive result is indicated by the appearance of red colored complex which confirms the presence of cysteine specific amino acid ureas may be confirmed by chromatography now we'll see hyperhomocysteinemia and myocardial infarction homocysteine interacts with lysyl residue of collagen forms homocysteine thiolactone a free radical which thiolates ldl particles these particles tend to aggregate are endocytosed by macrophages and increase the tendency for atherogenesis providing vitamin b6 b12 folic acid will keep homocysteine levels normal maternal Hyperhomocysteinemia is known to increase the chances of neural tube defect in fetus. High dose of folic acid is advised in pregnancy. So this is all about the metabolism of sulfur containing amino acids. Hope you find this video informative. If you do then please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel. Thank you.